that's my phone. And yeah, it's a duck. Because ducks are the sh beep. So, uh, I have this vague memory of death, but when I was three years old, I was playing with these baby swans. I think they were, they were swans because they didn't look like dogs. I don't know how I got them, but my parents talked about releasing them into the wild. I guess they might have been geese or dogs. But this is my story, so they were swans. So uh, one night I took one of them to bed with me. We were playing, or I was playing with it, petting it. I guess I got sleepy, I fell asleep. Next thing I know I woke up, but that was the only one awake. And I guess I hacked it too hard, or I just kind of got over it. You get the picture. I just wish I didn't remember that. Oh, it's like a finger Mr. Potato Head. Ew. It's kind of disgusting when I think about it. Ew. We learned about the concept of death when we were little kids. And if we're lucky, we learn about it because of a pet and not of a human being. Did you remember when was your first death realization? Was a curious pet mouse running towards a curious cat? Whatever it was, it always is a very confusing time, a very confusing concept. And unlike other concepts, this one never really leaves the confusing stage, does it? I mean, I guess what I mean to say is that yes, we get more familiar with death, but that's about it. I mean, that still remains for a very mysterious thing. It's a very abstract concept in every single way. Well, I told you in my update about my recent loss, and I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who sent me uh, supportive emails and messages. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much uh, you guys cheer me up really so thanks anyhow well beyond all that uh, pain that you feel when uh, that obviously you feel when somebody you love or a family member is gone um, is there you know I just couldn't help wonder and wonder about that the window is a very 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 obvious metaphor it is a portal that serves as a bridge between life and death just like the theory of a black hole leading to another dimension mm -hmm. so i used a dark spiral to depict that transition because i see death as a bit confusing and chaotic just like a dark spiral all crazy and mad and who knows what else the bright elements show, in a very abstract way, a little bit of the story of the life transcending. Everybody's life story is different, so the elements might mean different things to different people. For example, love um, is symbolized by the heart, or, you know, birth symbolized uh, travels, and so on and so on. The yellow elements alone get separated during the process. Yeah. And well, remaining on our side, the remaining form of memories, memories we have of the people that passed away, the people we lost. That's right, talk to the posted hand. I will see you guys next Sunday. <laughs> I had so much fun making these dolls that if you had somebody in mind that you would want me to make into a cookie dough doll, let me know. It would be fun.
Anybody from YouTube? <coughs> Believe it or not, it has underwear. Oh yeah. Eat your cookies. Hmm.